This is a MacBook Air and it's got a problem. Not enough ports means that when compared to other MacBooks and Windows laptops, they will generally always have the edge because they have more ports, which means more options. Does that mean that you're gonna have to spend more on a MacBook Pro with a Pro or Max M chip in it? Not if you've got this a six in one USB-C hub attached to your MacBook Air. This is it. The Tobin One 6-in-1 Dual Display USB-C Hub, which as you'll see is a great accessory for the MacBook Air. Does being productive mean that you have to use multiple monitors as well as your laptop screen? If that is the case, normally that would rule out laptops like the MacBook Air and other Apple Silicon Macs because of the limitations of the base M chips. This is the solution to the dual display issue. It isn't expensive or cumbersome. In fact, it's as you can see here, it's small enough to carry anywhere with you. It's a small silver aluminium hub with a foot long braided USB-C cable attached and it features three USB 2.0 ports. Now those USB ports aren't the 3.0 ports so if you do use them for data transfer then they will be at slower speeds. So this is going to be more ideal for connecting your keyboard, any mouse that you've got and any other USB accessories. On the other side is a USB-C PD charging port which can support up to 100 watts of power input but it will only charge your laptop up to a maximum of 87 watts which is still more than enough to charge your laptop quickly. Now while on this side you've got the USB data ports, on the USB-C port isn't for data connectivity, it's just for power input. But if you do have something like a MacBook Air then there is still that other free USB-C port on the laptop itself. Now, there are two HDMI ports on here, one here and the other one on the end here. Now they both support 4K resolution at 30 hertz and 1080p at 60 hertz for your dual monitor setup. So you can enjoy high quality videos and audio from your laptop onto these dual monitors. Now just simply plugging and playing will get you access to extending to one additional monitor, but in order for you to extend to that larger, more immersive workspace with that dual monitor setup, you'll need to install the USB display driver from the install files that are actually located on the USB hub itself. So all you're gonna to need to do to get that two monitor setup is plug this into your computer, install the software, restart your computer, and now you're able to connect two monitors to your laptop. So now you can enjoy being a productivity monster with that dual setup up while using your MacBook Air. And once you have set everything up, you'll be able to extend or mirror your main laptop screen across both of your monitors. And the one thing I have noticed when both screens are plugged in is the difference in lag between the two additional monitors. Here, I've got both monitors in mirror mode. So if I pause it here, then you can see the difference in the timing shown here. Monitor one on the right is plugged into the first HDMI port on the hub, and there is a slight lag, but the difference in lag is fractionally greater on the second monitor connected via the second HDMI port. So that might be something that you'll have to keep in mind. Shouldn't really be an issue for general usage, but if you're doing sort of video or sound editing on that second monitor, you might just wanna move it to either the other monitor or your main laptop display. So that's the Tobin One 6-in-1 dual monitor USB-C hub. Surely a must-have accessory for MacBook Air users who truly want to turn their beast with loads of potentials into a productivity machine. It's compact, it's portable and affordable, and it works flawlessly with the MacBook Air. And don't forget, even if you don't have a MacBook, then this is also going to work with the magnitude of Windows laptops. So that's six interfaces that offer you power, connectivity, and support for two additional displays. I highly recommend this for anyone who is looking for a versatile and reliable USB-C hub. And even if you don't want to use it for dual monitors, then you can just use it for those USB ports or even just that one additional monitor. Many thanks to Tobin One for providing this for me to test and review. If you're interested in buying this USB-C hub, you can check out the link in the description below. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, press the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.